Professor Whittingham, it's an honor and pleasure to have you with us, to have the entire SIPS 2023 dedicated to you and your life achievements. Uh, your field is, I guess, is the buzzword, the most popular field today, lithium batteries. Even people that do not understand what is lithium still like the word, which is very good, actually, in terms of public relations. And for, in terms of political point of view also, it attracts politicians also. You have to have a buzzword, even you might be the best in the world and still that buzzword sometimes gives results. So that's why it's a pleasure and honor to have you with, him, uh, with us and to dedicate the entire summit um, to your lifetime achievements. Um, you know, you are participating for the first time in SIPS. Give us a glimpse of your impressions, um, how, what's, how you view it uh, as a unique event and what's your impression in terms of the program and in terms of everything else, whatever you noticed. Yeah. So in SIPS I attended mostly the plenary sessions mm -hmm. and I found most of them very interesting, very informative and I think I only heard two of the speaker, speakers before in my life so, so most of them were totally new to me. Mm -hmm. And that's partly why I came here. Mm -hmm. There's two or three meetings worldwide mm -hmm. where you can go to and listen to people not in your field mm -hmm. and really get a new ideas, new thoughts. And at the same time, I don't use the word market, but really tell them what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it. it so a key thing in... Market is part of our sustainability framework. So. Right. So the key thing, when we got the Nobel Prize, it said we'd laid the foundation. So my message of, of late has been, let's stop talking, let's do. Perfect, and let's then, do it. Yes, let's move on. And as I mentioned in my presentation, we have to get the politicians involved, both the local level, the national level. And you are pretty successful on that, to yes. tell the truth. Yes. And as I mentioned, it helps having a Nobel Prize. Yes. They will tend to listen to you more. Yeah. And you can get your message across. You don't have to hit them over the head. But no, just be nice and explain why this is important. Uh -huh. You can't tell politicians what to do, but you can get them advice as to mm. the right way mm. to go to make life better for everybody. Correct. So basically you find yourself in the applicability from the pure science to the applicability of SIPs and having a general, uh, general uh, plenary session with different ideas. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, you um, were awarded Frey International Sustainability Award. These are our oldest award uh, about uh, specifically having the name sustainability in in the in the award name. So how you feel about that? Because lithium is sustainable. You know, is is bringing sustainable technologies in every field. So one of the uh, major goals where I'm in Binghamton is to develop a sustainable ecosystem, initially in our area, but then spread it throughout the United States and spread it worldwide. So we have to do everything in a sustainable manner. We mustn't do in lithium batteries what the plastics industry has done. No. Send it to third world countries and let them worry about it. We have to do everything sustainable from the mine through the manufacturing and back to recycling all the materials back into the supply chain. So the award was appropriate for the activity you do, having yes. sustainability in the world. Yes. So sure, you have the Nobel laureate, Nobel right. Prize. Right. But uh, every award, I guess, is good. Actually, this is sustainability award. Yes. This is uh, Nobel laureate is uh, Nobel Prize is scientific award, correct? Yes. Sustainability is applying for what you got in the Nobel laureate right. to the reality. That's what you are doing. Yes. You are going. You are going toward the gigafactory. Yes. So that's why. Yeah, the, the reason for the award is yeah. a sustainability award. And also, we, uh, the Council of SIPS decided to, uh, last year, to have an uh, award uh, after your name. Yes. And this reflects also your activity. It is Whittingham International Energy Awards. So basically, mm -hmm. lithium is energy. So, how you feel that to have an award after your name. It's nice. And you gave it to a very deserving candidate, I think, last year. Yeah. My colleague from Correct. Singapore. Correct. And this year 
we got the, the, another one from the University of Cambridge. Right. Yeah. And I, it's a pity he could not attend in yeah. person. Yeah, he could not attend because his uh, granddaughter, hopefully she's okay, but they had an emergency um, birth, birth, uh, premature birthing, something. Right. But he is a very, uh, very uh, well known in mostly in uh, secondary batteries. Right. Secondary batteries. And he has been with us since, let's say, every year since 2011. Always uh, deal, um, working on and presenting on batteries. So he worked and he just retired, by the way. Okay. And then we are honoring. That's what we do. We retire when one or people when they retire. Basically, when a society doesn't view so much the retired people as they should. Wait, we like them. America does. <laughs> America, no retirement age. <laughs> that's that's my colleagues in France, yeah. Germany, yeah. Britain, they have to retire. 65 Japan, and out. Japan yeah. also. Yes. Japan also. Uh, I don't know if it is a good idea, but I am uh, that without uh, no retirement age. Oh. And, uh, and I don't think you plan to retire. No. Ah, that's good. My doctor says we do not retire because we get old but we get old because we retire yes so my doctor tells me do not retire <laughs> <laughs> but without explaining without explaining why without explaining why if you use your mind your whole life if you stop working your mind goes exactly to... exactly exactly so um this is uh, uh you know uh, that's what one of our ideas you saw um, Professor Marcos, 100 years old, and yes. you saw his presentation and saw his discussion. Yes. It's, his mind is top, top yes. in different, differentiating. So I think because of his work, continuing work, he is at that age. Also, a bit of luck. Uh, he used to say, uh, when, when you ask him, what's your secret? He says, I was careful to choose my parents. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> But that's okay. So, um, to, to return to the summit, you saw we tend always to choose the best place in the world for scientists, engineers, for a specific reason, not done by chance. We choose always the best by the beach. Uh, do you find this a good idea? Yes, because I go to a lot of meetings mm -hmm. and I always go to the meetings of the held in Hawaii, for example, uh -huh. on the beach where you can relax, you can have a more casual dis discussion with your colleagues no over drinks in the evening in the pool during the daytime or whatever i think it's very important to have a good casual atmosphere which means you need a result you can't have it in the center of a city where everybody disappears perfect that's our uh, that's you got exactly our our you know uh, interpretation of things right so that's the point. When you are relaxed, when you are in a nice atmosphere, you are more productive in new ideas, correct? Yes. And you, you've chosen isolated hotels. Exactly. So people can't, don't just disappear. Well, they can them. if they want, but uh, yes. it's a big competition. Yes. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, uh, and the social events. You, since you are working, coming for the first time, you saw that we have a dinner and a show every night. I think we are the only conference in the world having every single day, uh, single night, a dinner and a show, and uh, without extra cost. Nobody pays for that. Mm. It's included in the registration fees. So how you find this? You find this interesting? It brings everybody together. Yes. So I think that's good. Yeah. And you meet people around your table you wouldn't meet normally. Exactly. So that's a purpose. It's networking. Yeah. Yes. So if I can interpret our ideas is that on a table, so it's a networking outside the conference room through question, presentation, question, and that's it. These people know each other, and uh, we are looked as a hub of, um, of multidisciplinary and multi country project uh, because uh, many projects are set here, set here because of this atmosphere. They know each other, yes, they become friends instead of just academics you know, presenting something, disappearing after, or just replying to the questions. That has been our idea from the start. That's why I wanted your perspective on it. Yeah. So you found it, you found it uh, useful. Right. And then think it'd be even better if you got a few, can I say, key up and coming younger scientists and engineers into those plenary sessions. Yes, they so, were there, but not too many we are trying. Right. This time, uh, 
We had nine students from Brazil because we do. No, I meant actually presenting in those. Oh, days. presenting! That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Now, the up and coming scientists from Africa, the up and coming scientists from South America. In the plenary. In the plenary, yes. Mixed up with Nobel laureates and mixed yes. up with famous academics. No. Have some of the 30 year olds mixed up with the 80 year olds. That's a good idea. We say always in our conferences we have uh, this expression was born in Paphos in 2019 because we had Marcos 96 years old right. and the youngest one was 16 years old. And always we say we have a range from 16 to 96. Right. But now we can say from 16 to 100. Right. <laughs> but this is a good idea to have students in the plenary. Yes. But they're going to present their vision or their results. Well, I'm not going to say things, students. I would say young, 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 young professionals. 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 No, we've been in that field for maybe five or ten years. Okay, we have a special education fee, discounted fees for young researchers. Right. So this we can use for the plenary. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why? Uh, I think we, we, will, we should think about this for the future and and we are trying to bring more students to find more sponsor for students. So we had a, we had only from Brazil we had nine students and then we had seven engineers plus the CEOs, two CEOs. So it was uh, we were successful in bringing students this yes. time. And it's not too far for from Brazil. It's Brazil. a direct flight, especially right. for Copa. They get a direct flight and, right. and uh, with our discounts. It's very cheap. It's about four hundred dollars round trip. Right. So from everywhere, from major cities in Brazil, for everywhere. So uh, we, we are happy, although this situation of two wars and many things around the world, this was successful. And you are also saying that. Um, but it's good to have your perspective and your your ideas on this because you are for here for the first time. Uh, now, overall, all this. Do you, do you find that this is a, this is help sustainability uh, in real terms, not just blah 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 in politics, but through science and technology, giving solutions? It's a beginning, let's put it that way. Yeah. But we have to get our message out there. Correct. That's what we're trying. Yes. Well, we are in social media. We are posting probably one or three or four posting per day. Okay. And. Yes. Uh, so your interview, part of this interview, or f the full interview, like we do together, will be in the, in the, in, in all social media and YouTube, etc. But also part of it as reels, we do it all the time. So we're gonna send you the links. Okay then. So it is a, again, it is a pleasure and honor having you with us. Uh, you are invited next year in uh, in uh, Crete. Greece is the middle of October, not end of November, because of the weather and so on. We are adaptable to the weather, but it's a nice place. It's a in there is a is a resort on the beach, as always we do. Okay. So it's a very interesting place, exactly as it is here. So thank you. again, thank you. It's a pleasure thank to you. be with you, with you and to be with you to be with us. I guess is the same. It's mutual. Thank you. <laughs>